Hello and welcome to Conjuring Rock. Today I'm going camping. We are at Crotch Lake. I have reserved a campsite very last minute. It was like 7 p.m. last night. I reserved it. Just got off work and uh, raced out here so I could enjoy the weekend here. I uh, was able to borrow a canoe from Frontenac Outfitters. They gave me this rental for the weekend. Spending two nights here and uh, I've got two goals for the trip. I want to catch my biggest pike and I want to do a catch and cook on a walleye. So that's uh, two different species. We'll see. My campsite isn't very far. It's just like right there. So let's get there because it's starting to rain. Look at that view. Oh, that's gorgeous. I'm gonna get unpacked. I'm actually gonna make a coffee. No, scratch that. Let's go find firewood. It's gonna get all my stuff up here, get on the head headlamp, get my saw out, got a new saw, and uh, get my hatchet. Let's go find some wood. Ah, why don't people close the lid? I don't get it. You don't have to touch it to close it, you know? Just go like this. Easy. Oh, I think we have found what we want. This might be perfect. Look at it. Ooh, that cuts so nicely. Where did I start right there? Oh yeah, look at that. I think I can drag these two pieces back maybe. I'll get that one as far as I can. Definitely bringing this back. Now, fold it up. Don't have to touch the blade once. Just makes it more safe. And also, by the way, talking to you on the camera makes me more safe, because now bears know I'm here. I hope this isn't green. This, I think that means it's kind of green, because of how it's peeling. But we're going to try for it. Anyways. So, it's uh, wet wood. <laughs> Gonna have to get some new wood tomorrow. Uh, try and find something that's a little bit more seasoned. Just uh, waiting for supper to finish up. Just got a minute left in the bag. Making some teriyaki rice. So, yeah, should be good. Well, it's obviously too dark to film. And uh, I'm probably just gonna have a chill night and go to bed pretty soon. Good morning. Well, I broke out the toque. It's just a lot more comfy, you know? It's not too chilly. It's actually a lot warmer than I expected. It felt more chilly when I was in my sleeping bag. Let me show you this view. This is spectacular. It's awesome. There's the Mississippi River, right there. Okay, well I'm gonna, I'm gonna brew some coffee. I'm really excited for some coffee and uh, make some oatmeal for breakfast. And then uh, I'm gonna go looking for firewood. I'm gonna spend a bit of time around camp this morning. Wait for the waters to warm up a bit so the pike will be more likely to chase. Uh, and then I'm gonna get out fishing.
I'm gonna try and start it with the uh, ferro rod, just a spark. And then I have my slightly bigger twigs going up to the wrist size stuff, going up to be a little bit bigger. Last night when I went looking for firewood, uh, I could, I, I'm a little amateur at this, admittedly. I ended up grabbing something that wasn't quite seasoned. It's uh, still a little bit wet on the inside in the middle. Um, so anyways, I found some more drier stuff, obviously. Cool, snacks, fishing, let's do it. I don't know, that wind's picking up. And uh, I can see there's like little tiny white caps forming. This might be a no-go. Okay, well I'm gonna paddle out there, see what it's like. I can feel that wind already. And I know it's worse out there. I don't know if you can see the trees moving, but. Oh! So I've moved to more of the center of the canoe and I'm actually on my knees just to try and get more power here. But. I'm about to hit the harder wind soon here. Let's try it. Oh, it's getting a little strong now. Now I'm really slowing down. Now I don't know if I can actually keep up with this wind. This might be the point where I turn back and, uh, or just turn around and start fishing. It's got some good depth here though. I'm seeing like these random clumps of weeds, which is really nice and promising. I think if it gets stronger, it's gonna turn into white caps here. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around. I'm not making progress now. Oh. I'm gonna get like maybe 10 casts in and then I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna be back at my camp after paddling for like 15 minutes there. Oops, I totally missed my boat launch. You know, I might be able to manage it in a fishing kayak, but it would still be a bit of a pain. Yeah, those are turning to white caps now out there. So, from the direction the wind was coming, I didn't see any clouds. So I don't think it's blowing anything in, but it could be blowing something in. So let's just hope it doesn't, just hope it doesn't rain. Only because I want to have a good fire tonight. Ooh, this is all muddy. Water level must be really low right now because this all looks like it's normally underwater. Well, that was a bust. Darn it. Well, let's go collect firewood. But I'm gonna use this uh, beach here, you can see in the distance. I'm gonna use that and use that to travel so I don't have to go through the brush and potentially find wood that people might not have touched yet. So that's what I'm hoping. I'm pretty sure the next campsite is a good distance away. So let's go for it. That's cool. So you can see there's uh, multiple marks from the different water levels. So this must be controlled by a dam or something. The water level used to be much higher because where I'm standing right now, I would be completely underwater. And I'm still not even down at the bottom of shore. You can even see, it almost looks like, I don't know if you can see it on here actually, let's zoom in. On that far shore, you might see some, some horizontal lines to suggest that the water level was that high at some point, I don't know. Pretty cool though. Oh, that'd be a perfect addition to the family. 
that's some standing dead wood. Oh, that's solid. That's tall. Which way does it want to go? Look at this is pretty big. There's a few good pieces here. I don't know if I need anything that big to go with what I have. good for tonight. Thank you, tree. Just cleaning up the forest floor. Nice. Cool. We're good for tonight. That's for sure. So, got all that wood processed, but nature might have some different plans for me though, as far as uh, the, how tonight's gonna go. Remember how I said those winds might be blowing something in? I think they might be. You see, we got white caps forming. I don't know how well you can actually see that, but let's, uh, let's go down here and see if we can see what's coming our way. Parkour, parkour. Ooh -wee. Might get a bit of rain. I've seen worse, but at the same time, it doesn't look great. It's getting dark quick. It's getting dark real quick. I should uh, put this camera away, because that's not weather sealed. My other cameras are okay, so you'll see whatever comes my way. But Ooh, I've got a tarp. I'm gonna actually tarp my wood. Yeah. I don't care if I actually get to any fishing. It's just really nice to be out here. I mean, I do, I, I really wanna fish. Um, but I mean, if, if I don't, it's not the end of the world. But it's just, it's just really nice to be out here. This is a beautiful lake, beautiful time of year. All the leaves are changing. Playing with all my new tools, my new toys, my new saw, you know, my new coffee maker. It's also good just to get out here, and be by yourself for a while. I've been talking to you guys a lot, but not the whole time. And, uh, it's good to have some time by yourself, for sure. Relax, reset. That was a very brief shower. I don't even think that lasted a minute. Yeah, I think that this is uh, just gonna blow over. That right there might hold, that might hold a little bit more of a shower for us, but doesn't look like there's much behind that.
just so you know, I'm using a bee-free water filter. Um, I'm not just drinking the water, I'm not just scooping it out of the lake and drinking it as is. This is actually uh, purifying it as I squeeze it through the nozzle here. Uh, super handy and also you don't have to wait for the water to cool down if you have to boil it or anything there's no pumping it's just just squeeze a scoop and squeeze okay now I wait let's find a nice rock to sit on so I don't know if you can see it on camera there's a couple canoes down there they're getting closer to shore now so it might be harder to see uh, I was watching them paddle and they, uh, right when they left that point, they, I could tell they were struggling with the wind. And, uh, and then at some point they were pointing directly this way after trying to go that way. And uh, now they're actually going back to shore. I think they've uh, given up and they're going to wait for that wind to die down. I mean, they're not too far from the boat launch. Boat launch is there. But... The wind is coming straight down here and uh, yeah, hitting them direct. That must be tough. Make it super big for a second, why not? Let's have a bit of fun, eh? I have all this firewood, why not use it? Fire's going pretty good. Check it out. I've never seen one of those. That's awesome. Probably scaring you, eh, little dude? I'll try and not step on you. What is that? Tell me what that is in the comments section. If you know what this thing is. 9 p.m. Still going strong. 
Getting low on that supply though. Probably only good till like 10, 10.30, probably 11, maybe. Good morning. It's like 7 a.m. Decided to sleep in a bit because I woke up and it was really chilly. Still is really chilly. So I'm gonna get brewing some coffee and some oatmeal. Mm, it's gonna be good. Even better in this cold weather. And then I'm going to uh, pack up and get fishing because there's only like a slight breeze, a chilly one, but just a slight breeze. Wow. Well, it wasn't supposed to be this windy. It was saying it was going to be like 10. This is more like 20. Wanted to do some fishing, but it's just uh, its too chilly and too windy. Um, not going to enjoy it. <laughs> and it's Thanksgiving weekend, so I probably should just get home and spend some time with the family or in front of the computer or uh, yeah, something. Okay, campsite's looking pretty good. Left a couple pieces of wood. Well, what a relaxing weekend. That was that was really nice just to spend the night by myself, two nights by myself, just camping and doing what I want, almost what I wanted. Wishing I could have did some fishing, but can't always get what you want. Also, I need to give a shout out to Frontenac Outfitters. Thank you so much guys for lending me this awesome Avalon canoe for uh, paddling around in for the weekend. I did ask for a heavier one, hoping that it would help me contend with the wind, but. The wind was just too much, almost too much for a fishing kayak too. But I probably would have been better suited with a fishing kayak. Anyways, if you liked that episode, hit that like button and subscribe to see more. We'll catch you later.